This is the pre-algebra video on percents. Let's take a look at this first problem. If a $350 laptop is discounted 15% but then has 9% sales tax added, what is the total price you must pay? So basically you've gone to the store, you see a laptop you want for $350, you get a 15% discount but you have to pay 9% tax. So let's start off with taking a look at the discount. If we have $350 for the laptop and we're going to take away 15%, remember 15% to work with it in our problem, we need to change it to a decimal. And so we move the decimal point two places to the left. So 15% becomes 0.15. Plug, we can plug that into our calculator and we get $52.50. So now, now we want to take that $52.50 and subtract it from the $350 and we get $297.50 for the price of the laptop. Now we have to pay the sales tax on this $297.50. So we take the $297.50 and we're going to multiply that by 9% which is the same as 0 .09. Don't forget to put the 0 .09 for 9%. When we plug that into our calculator, we get 26.78. Now this is the amount of tax you're gonna pay. So you have to add that to the 297.50. And so you get a grand total of 324.28. This next problem says a poll of 50 random students in a high school was taken concerning a favorite lunch menu item. The results are in the table to the right. When you glance at the table to the right, you see you've got menu items and the number of people that voted for those items. So it asks what percent voted for chicken tenders? The first thing we need to look at in the chart is how many people voted for chicken tenders. 14. We find that. You may want to circle it in your book. And then we want to remind ourselves that when we're talking about percents, we're talking about a part over a whole. So 14 is our part. 14 of the total 50 students that voted, voted for chicken tenders. So that gives us 14 divided by 50, which is 0 0.28 or 28%. The second part says, if this poll is indicative of how the 800 students in the entire school would vote, what is the best estimate of the number of votes Hamburger would receive from the entire school? So now let's say, let's look over here at our chart, how many voted for Hamburger? We may want to highlight that, circle that, 9 voted for Hamburger. Let's find our percent. Remember, the part over the whole. 9 out of the 50 people voted for hamburger. And the question says, if that's a good estimate of what the total 800 would vote, we have this fraction of 9 over 50 times 800. That gives us 144. So we're saying that 144 people would vote for hamburger. Here's the test yourself question. Give it a try and see if you get the correct answer. You should have gotten B, $255. Let's take a look at it. As a jewelry consultant, Sue makes a commission off each item she sells. If her sales are $500, she makes a commission of $150. How much commission does she earn if she makes $850 in sales? Now, there's several different ways that you could work this problem. One way is to find the percent that she earns, what her commission rate is. And that's fine, but remember, when we're taking the ACT, we want to think about the fastest way that we can work the problem. So one thing we can do is we can set up a ratio type problem. We know that she makes $150 off of 500 in sales. We can set that equal to our unknown X, how much is she going to make when she has 850 in sales. That ratio, those two ratios are equivalent. So now we could take this and we could maybe cross multiply. Get 150 times 850 equals 500 times X. We want to solve for the X, which is our unknown, her commission, and we get X equals $255.